Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. We are on our way to 3,000 subs. It'd be awesome to hit that before the end of the year. And so we're going to be going over the Ancient Inheritance uh, rewards, more so the actual event itself. Uh, and that way you can kind of, you know, look forward to what pieces are good for what units. We'll talk about them and what pieces I think these uh, will go good on. Or what, what units these pieces could really go nicely on. So let's go ahead and just go straight into it, right? So... You go into Ancient Inheritance, you grind up these little currency ball things, and you can buy the pieces of gear, right? They, they, you know, whenever you get to the next floor, they'll have a new shop, and they, they, they pretty much, if you do the full uh, Ancient Inheritance, you'll be able to buy all the pieces and get your extra mola, and the awesome Greater Gym Modification Selector Chest, right? Really, really, really good event. Also bookmark some other things. So, let's talk about these pieces, because these pieces are actually, like, I already know I went over them a little bit during the, um, update video but i really want to break how good these down how good these pieces really are so yeah let's let's go ahead and talk about like the pieces that have value in my eyes when i look at them which is the weapon and the necklace these two pieces are insanely good like for lifesteal pieces um so the necklace or the the weapon's going to give you nine percent health six percent crit chance eight percent critical damage and five base speed which is all super awesome high rolls now the weapon's going to be a weapon that's going to be very, very good on units like Lionheart Sermia because they don't, she doesn't really need, you know, attack. She wants, you know, bulkiness, HP, defense. So this piece right here, this this weapon is going to be fantastic on Lionheart Sermia. It doesn't matter really how it rolls. The speed is nice, but she doesn't really need to be super fast. The crit chance is going to be very nice. The health is going to be very nice and the critical damage is going to be very nice. It's going to help her get to that, you know, point where she wants to be. Ideally, ideally, this thing doesn't have to roll just in the speed. Like, if this thing doesn't roll max speed, that's okay. It's a lifesteal piece. You really don't want it to roll speed anyway. Maybe, like, one roll at most, that's a plus three. But, like, other than that, you want this thing to roll in crit chance, crit damage, and health. Uh, ideally, I do think getting this thing, you know, 20% uh, crit chance would be sick. Getting a 20% crit chance roll in this thing would be absolutely monstrous for Lion or Sermia, along with, that, uh, with the health and uh, critical damage, right? The current weapon I have on her is actually the Abyss weapon that I got because it rolled 20 crit chance, which was huge. But it, it was also one of those weapons that was very good like this. But this this is going to be very good on like like bruisers that like lifesteal. So yeah, keep that in mind. Any units in HP scaler that likes lifesteal, this will be excellent on, excellent on, right? This is a very good refined piece. Now we're going to go talk about the um, the necklace. This one's a little bit trickier to say who's going to be better on because there's two units in particular that I think this, this necklace is going to be very good on, depending on how it rolls. If it rolls more attack, then it's going to be Spirit Ice Selene piece, right? But if it more if it rolls more into defense, it's going to be a Liner Sermia piece. Um, if it rolls crit chance and speed, it can go either way. So it depends how this thing rolls, but if this thing does roll, you know, into defense more so than the attack, that's a Liner Sermia piece because she's a defense skilling unit. Also, I should mention, this: these pieces are going to be very good on Arya as well. So if you're looking for Arya pieces, health on Arya is very good. Defense and attack is very good. Like, these are awesome Arya pieces, right? So keep that in mind, Arya can also utilize these pieces if you're looking for pieces for your Arya. Um, ideally for this uh, necklace, I do think you want this thing to roll into one crit chance roll. That way you can get a little bit higher, maybe two. Speed doesn't really matter because once again, if you're rocking lifesteal, you're not trying to speed contest. You're trying to just survive, right? So I think the worst thing to roll in this thing, honestly, is probably the speed. Well, I can't say worse. Speed is obviously the best stat. But, like, if you're trying to put this on very, like, certain units, like, you could technically roll, you know, 20 speed, 20 speed, 20 speed, and all these pieces, and then slap that shit on uh, Sermia, and that thing would be amazing, right? It would be very good, but that'd just be a Sermia set. But if you want this to be more so a bruiser set, you want to look for those HP rolls and defense rolls, right? And then the crit chance rolls, obviously, to make it easier to build your units. So those two pieces are very good if they roll crit chance, defense, HP, crit chance. A little bit of crit damage is also nice. It goes a long way. Now we get into the weird stuff. The uh, the other pieces that are just kind of like kind of everywhere. Like it's hard to say what unit can utilize these because it depends on how it rolls, right? So the, the helmet's got health, attack, crit chance, speed. 
um, which is nice. It is a nice helmet, um, but there's no critical damage on it, so you're losing a little bit of value there. Kind of. Now, what you could do with this helmet is if, let's say, you don't get an actual roll into any, like, let's say this thing rolls um, crit chance, it rolls speed, and it rolls some health. If that does not roll off attack, let's say the attack just stays at 9%, you could just roll critical damage into it, and it would be usable. As long as it doesn't roll more than once, right? So whatever piece doesn't get more than one roll in it, for the most part, outside of speed, you could just switch it into critical damage. Ideally, talking about the top two stats, right? So if it rolls one into attack, you might want to keep it. But if it rolls zero into health, well, you can make this a damage dealer um, piece by replacing the health for the critical damage with your modification gem, right? So depending how this thing rolls, obviously, if it rolls all the stats all over the place, well, then this piece is just going to be a random piece that you can use on random units that are probably for something. I don't know, like a filler piece. Now this, the, the waist is a mess. I, I don't like this waist. It doesn't really like specify what this thing wants to go on. I look at this piece and I'm like, could go in Aiden. Like it could, there. this could be an Aiden piece. Uh, I, I, maybe, uh, maybe this is for Aiden. Like maybe this whole set's supposed to be for Aiden. I, I don't know. Um, but I don't really see where you're gonna use this. Um, I'm looking at it, I see the effectiveness and it completely throws off everything. Like I think it should have been health, speed, crit chance, and critical damage or it should have been defense percent speed crit chance critical damage for a lion heart piece it having effectiveness in there and health in it i don't know what unit is going to use this um so i think this is an aiden piece if i'm being honest i think aiden is going to be used on lifesteal and some other random two piece set so this could be an aiden piece the the chest i guess um now we're getting into the unity set which is weird um i don't hate these pieces i just find them to be very weird um the reason why they're weird is because unity is not something you don't normally throw in your damage dealers all the time some would say you could do it but some are weird and uh i feel like when i look at unity pieces i look at uh it's more of a supportive set right i think when I look at Unity, I think, well, if your ammo hand guy is built, like, really good, you could put Unity on him versus S1 the proc, uh, a dual attack, you know? You could put it on Deanne, so when she S1s, you could have a chance to dual attack. Uh, because, like, this isn't guaranteed. Like, this, you gotta understand that this 8% increase isn't guaranteed. You may never get this to proc in a uh, match. So the set piece is just kind of, like, better for supports that can, um that that stay alive longer so you have a higher chance to proc this at least that's what i think about when i think about this but this is like this this ring is a damage dealer ring with health percents and speed crit chance crit damage like this is a good damage dealer piece but who would want this a hawk maybe uh that way when you ask once no because you want penetration so that doesn't work um one damage dealer would want this that doesn't have access to penetration. An AoE unit would be one, but then there's uh, the torrent set, so most likely you'd want the torrent set on them, right? Um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't really understand the dual attack uh, set. I don't, I don't know who you, who a damage dealer ML hand guy. I guess. And then the the, the boots are a mess. Uh, these are these are boots designed for a tankier unit with effectiveness like i when i look at these boots i'm like this speaks to me to be a hand guy piece right because it makes sense the effectiveness is there for him to use you know the dispel or do whatever he's doing the defense is there the health is there the crit chance is just kind of a filler stat right that could be er it could have been health defense er effectiveness that would have been a hand guy piece right that would have been the perfect hand guy piece for defensive building and then for this piece they should have ran hp percent Defense, speed, ER, and then something else. I don't know. Effectiveness, right? That would have been the two pure perfect pieces for ML hand guy. But this piece throws it off completely, so you need to get yourself another ring. Uh, I mean, this ring's still worth a pickup. Maybe there's a unit that can utilize this in the future that wants unity that has these stats. Like, once again, you could use this as a broken piece set, if anything, because of how good these stats are. If it rolls really, really good. But I'm just looking at it like... You don't need this on anyone important that I can think of that would be a damage dealer, right? So I, I don't know what the point of this ring is. I feel like they kind of missed the missed this 
for the ring. Like, this would have been an amazing ring if it was another set. Like, a pen piece would have been sick. Um, uh, speed piece would have been sick. That way you could put this on, like... I don't know. Like, I feel like the HP percent should be where the attack percent is, and the attack percent should be where the HP percent is, so then it like, has an identity for something. This thing has no identity for anything. I don't know where you're using this, so if you know where you're using this ring, let me know. Um... I think that's all the main pieces we covered. We already covered the neck. If it rolls attack, good spirit isolating piece. If it rolls defense, a good Lionheart's piece. If it rolls crit chance and speed, well, it's good for either one. Um, the, the, what is this? The, the weapon is going to be great for Lionheart's Hermia. The waist is probably a Aiden piece. The helmet can go to any unit wants life fill as a filler piece, depending on how it rolls. You can kind of mix and match how you want to use it. Depending on how it rolls, obviously, because this thing could be a mess if it rolls, like, everything. So I don't really know what you're going to use this for. So the only pieces that I think that are, like, top quality that could be, like, mwah, chef's kiss is going to be the weapon and the um, the necklace. And I guess the, the boots could be good for ML hand guy if they roll properly. Like, if you roll no crit chance and you just roll that off for ER, that's a perfect hand guy piece for, you know, high health, tanky, fast hand guys, right? Uh, and then the three mystery pieces to me are the helmet, the waist, and the uh, the ring. So there's three really good piece potentials or pieces in here that have potential that could be really good. And then there's three like what the hell are these going to turn into type of situations for most of us, right? So yeah, I just wanted to make a fast video talking about these pieces because these pieces are very good, and I do think uh, the weapon is very good, the neck is very good, and the the anklet is going to be pretty solid. The other pieces, I don't know. It depends how they roll, right? So, yeah, that's going to be um, pretty much the only thing I wanted to talk about in this video or how good these pieces were for the most part, except for the three castaways. Um, so, yeah, I'll, whenever the Ancient Inheritance does drop, which I think it's dropping... When does it drop? Ancient Inheritance begins now. Uh, oh, here we go. So, oh, on the 27th? Wait, 11.14. So here in a couple of days up to the 27th. Okay, cool. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have until the end of the month. to oh, So the 14th until the end of the month. Sick. So make sure you guys get in a guild. Make sure that this uh, your guild can do this. And like, just don't stress the whole shop. Just get your pieces, get your mola, get your... Just buy everything. Like eventually you'll be able to buy everything out of the shop. So if you do this every day, because you can do it... Um, you can do the event once a day and burn your like the mileage on your like your paths or whatever it's like it's based off your like walking or whatever you can get all these pretty easily so really awesome pieces coming uh i just wanted to make another video on this because i do think these pieces are very good and i'm excited because we don't have a lifesteal set and just get out of the arena for whatever reason so these these are going to be very very helpful if you manage to roll them properly so thanks for watching guys once again make sure you guys farm this event when it's out and yeah i'll let you know how my pieces roll i'm really hoping that necklace rolls a lot of defense so i can slap it on lineheart sermia and be very happy about it um i'm excited for this piece and this piece the two the weapon and the necklace have me excited so i'll talk to you later peace